Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can draw straight lines and where to find a line tool in Affinity Designer. This question returns in the comment section every few months because the line tool is kind of hidden. First you need to select a pen tool on the left here and then move the pen tool from like the normal classic pen tool mode to a line mode. All right, and that's our line tool. From now on, the pen tool will be drawing lines like this one. And if you select like the stroke, that will be the thickness and the color of that given line. So head to the stroke section on the right. So let's give it a very bold stroke with some strong color so you can see it in the video. All right, and then I click here and notice that, that the pen tool is normally moving from point to point, but if you are in the line mode, Every time you start, a, this will be a new line, all right? So that's your line mode. That's how you make straight lines. Let me show you the classic mode, the pen mode. In that case, you will be connecting all of those points directly. And if you click and hold, you will be making curvy lines. If you click and hold, you're making curvy lines. All of that is one long line. So usually we don't want that. That's why they put this line mode. So again, remember to switch your pen tool, select the pen tool, switch to the line mode. It's over here. Click on that and it will be simply drawing lines. You can still move the second point around if you press and hold your mouse. In that mode, you will not make the line curvy. Instead, you can place that second point very precisely. And keep in mind, if you want to modify this line later on, you still can. So if you switch to Node tool, you can move this stuff around. You can even add additional nodes somewhere here if you want to break the line like that. Or if you plan to make it curvy, grab the line itself and push it like that. You will curve the line this way. Okay. If you want to be sure you got a perfectly straight line, you will need to press and hold shift on your keyboard. So when I press and hold shift, you can see how the line tried to snap here, 45 degrees all around. Okay, perfectly straight line. And again, by holding shift, I got perfectly straight line. Okay, so by holding shift, you will force the line into snapping. And as I mentioned, don't worry, the note tool is here to help you readjust the line and it should kind of snap to the perfectly straight positions. If it's not snapping like that, be sure you turn on the magnet at the top. This is for the snapping. If you turn it on, it should be snapping to uh, perfect positions for you. So it's way easier to align this in like 90 degrees or 45. And you can still hold the shift if you need to help yourself with those common positions for it. If you need a specific length of this line, you can head to the transfer box on the right where you can see how long is this line. In my case, that's 107 millimeters. If you wanna change units, right click here in at the corner of your rulers and you can change to pixels or inches. Here it is. And now you can kind of override this. Let's say I need 800 pixels and it will resize the line for you. All right, so here it is. The biggest secret is that the line tool is not on the tool list. It's more like a mode for pen tool. So pen tool and move to the mode called line mode. And that's all, that's how you draw straight lines. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.